Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the next episode of Future Retro TV. On this one, we've got Carl Cox. Uh, obviously, he needs no introduction. Um, he's been one of the biggest supporters in my career and one of the biggest inspirations. Uh, he's gonna basically tell you how we met and our, our whole affiliation and we've done remixes for each other and just, you know, one of the kindest, most amazing, inspirational DJs out there. Well, my relationship with Dan really goes back a long, long way. Um, when he was basically twins, uh, when he was basically uh, playing a lot of uh, West Coast breaks, and that's how I heard the damn sound. And I've been always into breaks in, in some way, based on our own road culture in the UK. But Dan was always someone that I inspired to, based on that he had something different to anyone else that I ever knew. So eventually, I got to, to work with Dan on the British Island of America tour, uh, and with that, we got to got really well as friends. Um, based on our music and, our, and, and how our music came together. But meanwhile, the thing was about Dan, that he always had this funk spirit, the things that he wanted to push as the elements of music, always. And I, I had a management company in the UK called uh, Worldwide Ultimatum, uh, well, Records and an Ultimate Music Management for DJs. And I had uh, DJ Dan on my books uh, as the, the, probably the second uh, American artist to be uh, on my roster. Um, and I just loved the way that he basically worked with us based on his sound. It was just different to everyone else. But meanwhile, coming over back into America, I, he made a record called Needle Damage. And this was something which I just absolutely loved. So I signed it to my record label. And that's where that's where the Cole Cox and DJ Dan kind of collaboration came. Where people understood that we had the same energy, the same push, and what we wanted to, to give the people a, a brand new sound. And uh, Needle Damage was born. I did my own remix of the, of the Needle Damage, and we, we sold a lot of records based on, on, on what he created. And it was just amazing. And then eventually, we, we did the zipper track and uh, we also got behind that as well. So that was just kind of two tracks that we did with Dan uh, that we got involved in, which was, you know, for me, was, was something which uh, I'm very happy and proud to be involved in. But meanwhile, I mean, Dan and I had our so we've both gone on our different paths based on our uh, success and our popularity, but we've come back around again based on where we're at right now, and, and you know, he's working on a, new, on a new album of a lot of old funky records of which I also used to be involved in as well. I had funk and soul in my, in my early days from 1976, 77, 78. And I've heard that he, he's actually got uh, Roger Troutman uh, and from Zach to do a few records on, it, on, the, on, on the album, on his album. Uh, more Bounce to the Ounce would be one of them. I'm thinking something which was one of my all time favourite records, which I'm really looking forward to hearing that. But I have a lot of interest uh, and a lot of love for Dan, and always you know, when we work together, we have a really good time. And I kind of love the idea of what he does and what I do. And the last time I saw him was at the Burning Man, and the Burning Man was just amazing. Dan went on before me, and, 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 uh, and I went on, and hopefully this year it'll be the other way around. But it's always a great compliment and great love that we have for both of us. That's where we are right now.